So like when I was younger, they had this book and it showed like what the city was going to look like. A little bit more futuristic, obviously, the buildings are taller, but all the buildings actually had plants, greenhouses on top of the houses, everything was solar powered. We are sitting in this crossroads where we have the ability to potentially change the way that we use our outdoor space. In the 1970s, it was where people from groups like El Puente came down here and just started building a park. It's where I play tag with my friends, it's where I learn to ride a bike, and it's where I walk my dog every morning. Family come here to enjoy. It's a beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. You have dance parties and playgrounds? Yeah. Yeah? Whatever is the heartbeat of the community, it's like that's where something like that happens. It kind of like comes alive and goes through waves of different activity throughout the day. This is an open space. Anyone could come. In New York City, there has been a lively discussion on how we can improve our park system. The Parks Department does an amazing job with the resources they have, but the fact of the matter is they don't have enough resources. You have these alternative funding models, which fills that gap between what the city has and what the parks need. We need places to go outdoors as a community, places to meet one another. We need better shade control, we need better erosion control. A real commitment to our trees, our grass, our flowers, our bee house. It's really important that we're making those investments every day, not just for the stuff that we already have, but for the stuff that we need going forward into the future. And not limit ourselves by what we see, but what we could see. And just put people at the center of the neighborhood. So in North Brooklyn, we have to be innovative. Under the K is a really good example of being creative with creating public space and open spaces. You have all these alleys and lots, make gardens out of them, make small little public spaces out of them. And we have to be transformative in the way that we approach parks and open space. And so by launching a membership program, we're giving you an opportunity to help support in a more sustainable and long-term way the parks and the open spaces that you love. Right, so everything that we're doing makes a huge difference. I każdego roku ogrody dają nam nową szansę na to, um, żeby je zagospodarować na nowo. Wykorzystajmy to. Support the things you love. Support the things you love. Apoye las cosas que uno ama. Support the things you love. Let's build a green fund for North Brooklyn. What is a green fund? What is a green fund? If you're going to be showing these kind of pictures to these kids of what the future is supposed to look like, then, you know, start doing something about it.